Hi guys, my name is Ben Hajidin Ansari and you're watching the 47 tutorial on C programming and today I will be talking about the end of file marker. So before I talk about the end of file marker, I want to say one small thing and that is suppose you do not have the file in your path. So I'm going to delete my minhaj.txt file from my desktop. I'm going to remove this file from my path. So now if you try to open a file that does not exist in your path. So if you try to open it in write mode, the program will automatically create a new file for you. So let me show you what I mean. So now right here you can see minhaj.txt file and this has been created by the program because it didn't exist in my path. So I'm going to delete this again. So now if you try to open a file that does not exist in your path, but if you try to open it in read mode, then this will give you an error. So when I try to run the program, I'm going to get an error right here. So I mean, when you open it in write mode, then it will create a new file for you. And when you try to open it in read mode, then the program will give you an error. That is why always make sure you have specified the correct file in your path. So now I'm going to create another file and I'm going to name it minhaj.txt. And I'm just going to enter some random characters in this file. So my name is minhaj. I like pizza and i'm going to save this and now what if i want to read all the characters from my file well i can do that with the help of the end of file marker and the end of file marker simply specifies the end of a file it is a signal it is not a character end of file marker is not a character it is simply a signal that it identifies the end of a file so the end of file marker might lie somewhere here after the last period so now i'm just going to close this file and i'm going to show you how you can read all the characters from the file so first of all i'm going to write my while loop and inside the while loop i'm going to first of all i'm going to define my character variable ch and now inside my while loop I'm simply going to extract characters from my file using the getc function. And I'm going to keep extracting characters until the end of file is not reached. So this is the condition inside my while loop. And now inside the body of my while loop, I'm simply going to print those characters which I'm extracting and which are being stored inside the character variable ch. So now I'm going to run my program and it's going to display all the characters from my file minhaj.txt into the output screen. So this is how you can extract all the characters from your file and this is how you use the end of file marker. And if you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section.